uh, Little Cayman Airport is truly unique. Uh, for anyone that's ever landed here, they will know that stepping off the plane and being greeted by a tiny little airstrip uh, check-in counter desk and uh, baggage claim area is a pretty interesting experience. Um, the, probably the most single photographed item in Little Cam. Um, it's, it's something that improves the guest experience. And um, it's, it's a difficult concept for people that have never landed here. Um, it's one of those things where the repeat guests will go away and talk about it and come back and look forward to seeing the baggage handler because they know his name. So when you start talking about redeveloping the airport, um, we really are changing the tourism product that we're offering the customer. And this is, a, this is a very difficult and scary proposition for people. Because Little Cayman, because it's an extra step away from Grand Cayman, really attracts a specific kind of customer, a specific kind of tourist. Most of them are bucket list divers, so they'll come here to dive because Little Cayman Bloody Bay Marine Park is on that list. But a lot of times, um, we're, we're certainly going after a repeat guest. And the repeat guests come to Little Cayman because of the fact that we are low density and we have a very unique guest experience. And that definitely includes the airport. Redeveloping the airport into a large uh, new property presents multiple problems, not only from a cost point of view, but also from um, a guest experience point of view. The, the repeat guest uh, experience is going to suffer slightly. And when we start adding into the equation the damage to the environment that's going to take place, um, we need to weigh up the costs. And uh, at this time, um, I don't think that government can actually afford to build that, uh, that airport. Um, I, I think that negotiating with current land, uh, landowners to extend the current runway is still a viable option, uh, especially because the landowners surrounding it are also invested into the businesses here and as well from an environmental point of view. To take um, a new piece of land and develop it into a, a 4,000 foot runway is going to really destroy a large habitat. Um, whether that is required from a, a government standpoint or from a business standpoint is, is still, uh, to be, still to be seen. Uh, the current area, uh, we know there are problems with redeveloping it into uh, the 4,000 foot uh, runway that, that's required to land new planes. We, we understand what, what the, the challenges there are, but uh, we also understand the challenges of security and of uh, um, fencing and uh, lighting and all, kind, all these things. I mean, these are challenges that need to be overcome. But the, the, the bigger question is, why are we changing the product? Um, if the product is what customers currently want, we need to accept, well, changing that product is going to change our business. Um, yes, the bucket list divers are still going to want to come. That's not, that's not the problem. But I think um, the option of having a runway that could possibly land uh, jets is certainly not something that the, the little cam uh, residents would support. Um, because la landing bigger aircraft does attract um, the, the possibility of unsustainable development here.